I am Amanda Akron. I am a second year MFA student here at Purdue Theater, and I am playing Mother Courage in our production of Mother Courage and Her Children by Bertolt Brecht. What was the starting point in your research? Oh, um, that's a great question. I guess the starting point would have, have, would have had to have been the conversations that I had with um, the director and Shanahan. We really just delved into like who Brecht was and what Mother Courage represented in the 30 year war in the lens of World War II, which is the commentary of um, the play really. And also currently, like Mother Courage exists around us currently as well. What did you want to focus your research on? I don't think there was anything in particular that I was striving to hone in on necessarily. It was more so understanding the um, concept of epic theater, which is something that Bertolt Brecht coined and um, is known for, and all of the aspects within that concept of epic theater and how they would relate directly to playing Mother Courage within that world. What are the differences between the epic theater and traditional realism in theater? Traditionally, we, especially in undergrad, are primarily trained in Stanislavski, this like very realistic form of acting. and. Breck's um, epic theater and all of the things that come along with that really focus on giving the space for the audience to question and to feel and to understand their realities that are outside of this lens of realism. So it became more than just like portraying the realistic existence on the stage, but also questioning and commenting on the realistic on stage and outside. How does Bertolt Brecht's dialectic or epic playwriting style tackle social issues within Mother Courage? I think that was really part of what Brecht was doing, was using these tools so that the audience can question and understand in a different lens than just the traditional um, realistic theater that we're typically used to. Um, I will say though, based on like a lot of the conversations that Anne and I have had, um, I think what's hard, what's touched me the most this year in particular doing this show is the way that the pandemic and COVID-19 has really affected women as a, as a population, um, especially because, you know, children are home from school and like women are the ones that are primarily taking over that role of, you know, being teacher, being mother, being all of the things, the way that I find Mother Courage is really existing in this past year in particular, um, but she exists in many more lenses. What was your biggest discovery? I think I'm still discovering, but I think it was how emotional I really felt genuinely when we were reading as a cast for the first time, when I, um, when my children get taken from me and, and die. I think that that was something that I wasn't necessarily expecting. And I felt that on a level that, that it was surprising and, and a discovery in and of itself. How has this research informed your character choices? So I think just knowing a bit more about epic theater and the Verfremdens effect, which is the alienation effect, and all of what encompasses what Brecht was trying to do, I think that really helped me understand this idea of Brechtian acting and Brechtian theater, which is really that you as the actor are using yourself to feel the character and understand and become that character, but also comment on it. So it's really kind of this like juxtaposition and this balance that, that I personally am constantly in of understanding that humanistic existence of, of Mother Courage and what she goes through throughout the play, but also as the character, as the actor, as Amanda, to really understand to make that distance. 
How do you use Breck's idea of gestus uh, to impact your acting work in Mother Courage? It's about finding that balance, right? Because if you're using it too much, it becomes almost farcical. And that can totally also be um, appropriate at times. And I think Brecht wrote some of his characters in that way, that they are almost farcical and totally not human. But I think most of the time, you know, you have these characters who tread that line and walk that line of like, both of them. So finding that balance. <laughs> what discovery has excited you concerning your character or the play in this process? The way that I feel, the strength that I feel from this character who is, you know, a 17th century um, woman who is <laughs> going into war selling goods that she's finding but within that like how how powerful and how resilient women are um and not just mothers what is something that you hope to be able to convey to the audience from your character research into your performance on stage frankly i just hope that people walk away from this understanding and feeling in whatever capacity um, I, I'm not looking for anything necessarily in particular, like I hope to convey, convey this, but I hope that people just walk away feeling moved in some sort of shape or form. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.